Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. So as always, when a manufacturer or retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you know. So this is a sponsored review. And again, this is from um, AliExpress and one of their, one of their um, sellers. So I'm gonna be talking about wireless remote controls for your Android I iPhones, you know, tablets or what have you. So this is it right here. So we have, it's called the, um, the iPenga, or I wanna say iPenga, that, I mean, that's what it feels like I wanna say. So it's the uh, iPenga wireless remote controller. So basically, uh, I, I've been wanting to do a review like this because you know what, a lot of these, they claim that you could use it with your iPhone. I know they work very well with Android, but with the iPhone, they're always very buggy and they never really work. So I always wanna really do a review of one of these for the iPhone, to use it for the iPhone. So this this one does say that is um, iPhone, iPad um, compatible, see up there, iPhone, iPad compatible, Samsung, um, HTC, Motorola, Android TV, and Android uh, TV box. So we're gonna jump right into this review. I mean, I really hope this works out. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Let's switch cameras. So it's got, okay, it's got a little, little thing over here. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see if this works. I, I, I hope it does. I really want it to work. I, yeah, I could always use one of these on my way to work when I'm playing, um, you know, real racing or one of these other games. So let's see. So, all right, so what do we have here? So we have the remote and we have instructions so it does have instructions in english which always is really good um so okay so okay so it looks like you do have to no oh, no 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 you don't okay uh you know what i'm gonna try to do this as always i'm just gonna go right into the item and review the item and this actually feels really cool i like the feeling of this um it has like a sort of a non-slip surface i really like the feeling of this i mean um it has this really cool non-slip surface that it feels really nice in your hand now it's not too big it's almost the size of a uh, xbox controller so that's really cool um it's got a lot of buttons so it's got a you know it's got like a play button it's got a pause button it's got a fast forward button it's got a volume up volume down button uh, home select button and it's got the, the the you know the usual y x b a buttons like you know like the like the regular remote so it's got two directional but um uh joysticks so that's really cool now this is where you would put your phone so this pops up and it has a spring so it has this little spring that you know when you put it in your phone fits right on top so it's got a lot of buttons actually I mean I want to say that it has let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen buttons and I okay twenty twenty one because uh, these buttons you press down so um, so it does charge with uh, a USB mini USB um, so, um, why don't we try to set this up? So, um, all right. Okay, so most of these items already come from the factory with a little bit of a charge. So, um, usually you could just jump right into this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and sync up the remote with the iPhone. Again, my main focus is, does it work with the iPhone? I know these remotes usually maybe 99% of the times always work with Android um, and they don't really work with the iPhone. Now I did see here that they have a bunch of, um, they tell you games um, that they support. They have an app called iCade. So it's I-C-A-D-E. And you download that from the app store and, and that app has uh, a bunch of games that you could try out. We're gonna download and try that app. But first I wanna try out the apps I already have on my phone which is real racing and you know NFL um, Madden 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 mobile whatever it's called All right, so we're gonna try syncing this up so um, the way you will sync it up is you will hold down the B button and the home button at the same time and the search key pop up 
pops up and there it is keyboard so it's connected now and as you can see right up here um, bloop, 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 bloop. it's got uh, right right up here there it is so it, it, it connect. connected it says connected uh, gamepad so it gives you the name of the gamepad once you um you connected it so it shows it up right up right up there see that there it is so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and um let's play some games now this is really cool so check this out so i have my my um real racing game playing here but if i have play on here it plays my music so i can control my music within the game so it, it's basically it's controlling your phone through the through the pad Obviously, it's using Bluetooth, so. Um, now, I don't know how, if this is gonna work at all. So, let's see if we could get it working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to the top camera here, um, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. There it is. And, I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing this correct, but, all right, so, this doesn't work with this game. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't work with this game. Shame, shame, shame. I would have liked to see this. Maybe I could drive. Let's try driving. Let's just try something here. I would love to see this game work. I would love it. Let's see, let's see. So yeah, so it doesn't work. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's go into settings and go to joystick. And... Um, buttons. Let's see. No. 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 Yep. No. So... Um, so that didn't work. So we're going to try, um, something else. Let's try Madden here. I, I would love that these guys work. Oh, my screen is so dirty. Let me just clean it really quick. either so uh, trying this out no so so it's only specific games so we're gonna go ahead and download one of their games that they they suggest one of the, actually one of the apps so let's do that so <clears throat> after trying out a couple of games um, uh, real racing didn't work and Madden football didn't work with the pad but I did manage to find another game a pretty popular game so um, let's, let's, let me let me demo that for you right now. So it's this um, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. And as soon as I get it open, there it is, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, it's my reflection. Hey. So I'm gonna see if I could show you guys really quick how this works. Um, it works. The the, the pad works with uh, obviously certain games. Not everything is compatible with the with a game pad but um it, it is very cool so i'm gonna try to fast forward this and start the game this one has a lot of commercials because i didn't pay for it you know so i'm, I'm just using it as a demo so there it is there's the game playing and um you know most of the buttons here are pretty repetitive like they do the same thing um except for that one that one is the back button but um there's certain stuff you have to still click on the screen but the a button is the is the jump button here 
and um, you know it does everything that the little guy does so that's kind of cool so it works on the on the Sega we're gonna try one more game um, before I finish this review but as you can see there it is there's uh, Sonic running around and doing his stuff um, there's other buttons I haven't tried here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So, so that's that one. We're going to um, now see if we can get another game working. So, unfortunately, um, the gamepad light doesn't turn on. So, this is not compatible with this, this game. So, as you can see, I mean, I tried it out. I, I mean, this, I know for a fact this works on Android. Um, it works on Android games and it worked on a couple, uh, you know, so it worked on one of my games. It worked on one of the, the games that I tried out, which was Sonic, but the other games it didn't work on. I mean, overall, um, if you want to use a controller to control your games on an Android phone, this works. Now, if you have an Apple phone, an iPhone, this does not work on all games. I mean, it maybe works, like I said, it only works on one game. It worked on my um, Sonic game. Um, like I said, I mean, if you want to, you, you can also use it to watch movies. I'm not sure why you want to, you know, use this to watch a movie. It has the, it does have the controllers on the bottoms to, you know, play, pause, and, you know, what have you. Um, the other part that's a little bit annoying is that when you, um, once you connect the um, gamepad to your phone, you lose the ability to use the keyboard um, while you do anything else. In other words, the, the, the gamepad takes over your phone and it becomes a keyboard. So you cannot use anything else as a keyboard in your phone, which doesn't really work. I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I, I want to be able to access my keyboard when I'm not when I need it. Like somebody texts me, I want to be able to slide down and type. Once you connect the, the pad onto your phone, you cannot do that. You cannot type anything in because the gamepad becomes your keyboard. So um, it has a lot of limitations. I mean, I, I wish it would have been better. I, I was very excited about this item, but um, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't doesn't work like I thought it would work. Again, this is my opinion. This is the iPhone that I'm using. I know for a fact that on the Android, it works a lot better and it has a lot more games um, that you can um, download and use. Um, it also has an app that you could download for the Android and it gives you a bunch of games that you could use. On the iPhone, I try to look for apps. As they told me in the instructions, um, to you know, to use some apps to work with the phone and try it out, and they're they're very specific. They say on here, um, uh, it's got a limited amount. Let me see if I can get you guys there. Uh, there it is up here. Look, it says a limited amount of iOS app that do work with the gamepad. So I mean, e for effort, but I'm sorry, it doesn't really work for me. I wish this was a lot better. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's my review. Thank you for watching. I am Juan Granos. You've been watching LG TV. Find us on Instagram, Los Granos. On Facebook, Los Granos. And on Twitter, Los Granos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.